It is time for Old Man Logan to finally die. He's at the end of his road, and his final battle was Sabretooth. This is the Comic Story and Channel, where I take some of your favorite trade paperbacks and single issues, and I break them down into digestible bites to help you understand. Then I read them dramatically back to you. All alterations to the panel, section images are to prevent copyright problems, and all art is owned by its respective companies. Dead Man Logan is the inevitable conclusion to the Old Man Logan saga, and if you don't know, while this started as a miniature storyline, which I'll link down below, and then went into a 50-issue run of him being in the modern day, and then he eventually went back to his current timeline seven years in the future. He has found Forge, he has found the Baby Hulk, and now Sabretooth has found him at Forge's location. It is now time for the final fight, and the end of Logan. Unless, like, some weird miracle comes out of this. Let's begin. As Sabretooth's soldiers begin to storm the compound, Forge and Eleanor get in their mech with Logan stating, I want to help. And Eleanor tells them that he should. This is his mess after all. Logan tells them, Look, they're after for me. Just let me. But Forge tells them that this isn't their first attack and it won't be their last attack. A giant metal door slowly begins to open and Logan jumps up onto Forge's suit as Forge says, All right, let's see what we're up against. Right outside of the gate, Eleanor punches one of the soldiers with Forge stating, Damn! Weapon X! Heard someone started this up again. Logan slices through one of the soldiers, but he can smell it. Sabretooth. And there's more. Something rotten. These soldiers' healing factor ain't for crap. Danny tells Bruce Jr. that everything is going to be okay. She's going to go out there and help, and she'll be back before he can even finish his book. Two books at the most. Bruce tells her that he wants to go out and smash, but as the door opens, Sabretooth walks in asking, Why don't I just babysit her for a while? One of the soldiers fires a trank dart into Bruce with Danny punching Sabretooth, telling him that she is going to take that dart and stick it right up his... Sabretooth laughs. <laughs> you got some bite in you, girl. That's good. I like them feisty. Back outside, Logan calls out that these are just clones of Sabretooth. I killed that bastard a long time ago. Cut him up into a thousand pieces, and I buried them separately so that he couldn't regenerate. Forge fires into the group, stating that he may have just created a thousand saber to seedlings. Logan stabs into one of the clones, asking, Is that what this is about? A bunch of squirts running around trying to get some form of revenge? The clone bursts out laughing, telling him, You are so stupid! We don't even care about you no more! You're just a distraction so that we can get the kid! Logan rips his claws out, shouting, Damn it! We need to! Well, before he could finish, Danny runs out swinging a hammer yelling, They got Bruce! We can't let them get away! Just then, a giant truck bursts out of the wall and driving it is Sabretooth. He calls up his boss, telling him that he got the package. Yeah, don't worry. We hit him with enough drink to stop a T-Rex on steroids. Kid ain't going nowhere. Danny yells that they have to go and Ford shouts that they will handle this. Go! If they've got their hands on a Hulk, then this problem goes beyond us. As Logan and Danny run after the car, Forge continues to fire, stating, I'll see you guys in the next life. He then knocks one of the clones off of Eleanor's suit as he sounds the alarms. Code Black. Everyone in the safe house. The alarms begin to go off inside and Robbie's containment pod opens. A few seconds later, Logan and Danny rocket out of the hangar with Dwight asking, Where the hell are we going? Forge tells him not to worry. He needs to get to the bunker. The walls will protect him from what's about to happen. Dwight yells, hell no, I ain't running, and then he gets stabbed by one of the clones. Forge tells him to go. We need someone like you if we have any hope of survival. Even if we win here, this body ain't gonna last too long. You need to be there to lead. But up above it all, Robbie looks down, seeing the fighting. Oh, no. Over in the bunker, Forge helps Dwight into a bed, telling him that the wound isn't bad. Just a few stitches, but he's begging him, don't come back out, they need him. As Dwight is set, he tells Forge, thanks for everything, and Forge laughs. Ha <laughs> ha, no problem. Engage lock, 48 hours. When Forge goes back out to the fight, Eleanor tells him that they are the last one. Everyone is inside. And Forge says, not quite. Look. The two see Robbie standing alongside the mountainside with Forge kissing Eleanor. I love you. Sorry that it ends this way. And she tells him, at least we're together. Robbie looks down, plugging his nose, and he steps over the ledge. A few moments later, there is an earth-shattering kaboom as the power of 20 kiloton bombs go off. As the rumble catches up to Logan, he looks back at Danny asks, Did they? And Logan tells her, It's gone. We should have stayed. Danny yells, No, if we had stayed, we'd be dead too. I'm sorry about your friend, but if we died, who'd save Bruce Jr.? 
The next morning in Hammer Falls, formerly Las Vegas, Logan and Danny get out of the car with Danny asking if this is the right place. Logan says that Forge said that Sabretooth was with Weapon X and that they're working out of Hammer Falls. Only lead that they've got. So Danny then asks, do we split up? And Logan tells her that that's never worked. We stick together. We figured this out. People here are obsessed with capes and crap. Ain't no way that Weapon X has laid roots in this hellhole without these folks taking notice. Danny stops by one of the hero's stands and says that they're trying to find. The man yells, holy crap, that's the Wolverine. Logan tells him, look, we're not trying to cause a scene here. We just need information. The man runs out into the street yelling for everyone to come look. Wolverine is here. He ain't dead. Soon the crowd surround the two of them and a large man with a machete says that this guy is just an old man. Not gonna let that much cash walk out of here. But as he gets ready to swing, Danny punches him asking, where's Sabretooth? The man yells, please, please no more, I'll talk. Later that night at the Weapon X facility, Logan and Danny sneak in taking down a pair of guards. And as Logan stabs one and Danny whispers to the other one that he is going to tell them where they're keeping their green friend. If not, then he's going to end up like a kebab like his pal over here. You wanna be a kebab? Do you? The clone guard shakes his head telling him no and he points them in the right direction. They take out another set of guards and Logan cuts the hand off of one to use for the bio scanners that are up ahead. As the doors open up, Logan says that they need to get Bruce Jr. and get the hell out of here. Won't be long before someone discovers the bodies. But as the doors open, Sabretooth tells them, Oh, they already know. We've been watching the whole time. Figured we'd look at our security and see where the holes are. So thanks for that. Just so you know, the bullets in those guns are the same type that the Reavers used to shoot down Luke Cage. Not sure if a little girly has her daddy's skin, but a little overkill is better than not being prepared. Sabretooth walks up to Logan and tells him, If you think about popping those claws, then we're gonna fill Baby Banner here with so much gamma radiation, he'll explode like a green tomato! Logan says, I've killed you once before. I look forward to doing it again. What is it you want? Sabretooth tells him that he's waiting on the boss man to show up, and as he finishes, another set of doors open up and a strained old voice says, Logan! Sabretooth asks, You remember Mr. Sinister, right? Sinister rolls out in a wheelchair, half decaying and bloated. It's been a while. You were the crown jewel of what we were originally after. And when we found out that you had a Hulk with you, <laughs> that changes things. See, with Creed, their clones were subpar. But a Hulk? That's like having a walking, talking nuclear bomb. Do you know what Red Skull gave me after he presented the blueprint for all of this? Nothing! The Nazi took all the credit. Even that nobody, Pace Pot Pete, got his own town. But that all changes. Anyway, gods, take Logan into custody and kill the girl. Everyone points their guns at Danny, and she quickly elbows one of them with Logan popping his claws, cutting the restraints, holding Bruce Jr. down. And he looks at him. All right, Bruce. Smash! As the three punch their way out, Sabretooth yells to stop them. But when they see their escape truck, Danny asks, What? Do you think they just left the keys in it? Logan jumps into the cab, jamming his claws into the ignition, asking, Have you never hotwired a car before? A few seconds later, the truck races out of the compound with Sabretooth and his clones following closely behind. Sabretooth yells to take out the tires, and one of the clones leans up with an RPG. As the rocket is fired, he shoots through the air and into the back of the truck, blowing it up and flipping everyone over. As everyone crawls out of the truck, Logan coughs. <coughs> so much for that plan. Danny asks, what are they supposed to do? They're outnumbered, and Logan tells her, that has never stopped me before. One of the citizens runs up telling Sabretooth that they cannot be here. This is the sacred ground of Mjolnir. Sabretooth knocks the guy down. I've met Thor before. Wasn't that great? Kind of full of himself. Logan stands in front of Danny and Bruce stating that he'll give himself up. But the girl and the kid walk. Sabretooth tells him, yeah, that's a no-go. Kill the girl and take the other two. One of the clones fires and as everyone stops, Danny looks at her bleeding chest, telling them that she'll be fine. She'll be Sabretooth yells to Logan, This is on you! You caused this! As Danny falls back, she lands next to Mjolnir, and then the hammer falls over. Everyone shouts, asking if they saw that. Their prayers have been answered, and Danny reaches for the handle, when suddenly there's a bolt of lightning. Oh, hell no! And Danny stands up as the new Thor. Oh, hell yes! Sabretooth groans, asking, Could somebody kill her already? As Danny and Bruce charge in, Logan takes out his last vial of Regenix. He injects himself. This is it. But taking a lot of beatings, but this is it. One last shot at being what I once was, at being the best that there is. While Danny and Bruce handle the clones, Logan jumps over the crowd right for Sabretooth, telling him, We did this once before, and I won! 
The two exchange blow after blow, ripping and tearing into each other until they're both a bloody mess. Sabretooth punches into Logan's chest, telling him, I've been praying for a day that I could do this. Thanks for making this little boy's dream come true, Logan. Logan tells him, I wouldn't be running that victory lap just yet. And then he punches into Sabretooth's throat. As the second set of claws go in, Logan screams, ripping Sabretooth's body to bloody chunks. Danny runs over to help Logan up, stating, We'll get thou chariot so that your healing factor will work its magic. Logan laughs, You got the accent and everything, but I'm done for. Just the last of the Regen X and that barely did anything. No more healing. Knew it was gonna happen sooner or later. Just that Sinister rolls out yelling, You will give me my green little bastard back before? Before he could finish, Danny tells him that she thinks not, throwing Mjolnir obliterating Sinister's head. We get back into their car, Logan says to remind him to never make her mad. She says that he may jest, but his situation is dire. They must get him medical assistance before. Logan tells her, No, I'm far too gone. Just, just get me home, please. Later, just outside of Logan's ranch, Danny pulls up and Logan asks, Do you mind helping me over to Morveen and the kids? My legs, I won't be able to make it on my own. Without saying a word, Danny and Bruce get up, and they help Logan over to the grave markers of his family. As they set him down, Danny says that they'll be close by if he needs them. And as they walk away, Logan calls to them. Wait, Bruce, I'm sorry I left you. I truly am. I don't suppose that makes much difference, but I thought you should know. Take care of Danny for me, okay? And you, Danny. Your parents would be so proud of the person that you've become. I wish that they could have been here to see you. She kneels down. Thank you. Maureen, Jade, and Scotty would be proud of you too, Logan. As Danny and Bruce leave, Logan shuffles closer to the grave, picking up a picture that was left behind, stating, huh, I've thought about this for a long time. Though, that may be why I left here. So I can move on. But every time I closed my eyes, all I could see was the three of you. I wasn't sure if I'd ever make it back here. I almost gave up on it. But any time that I thought that way, any time that I was ready to give up. I thought about the farm. Logan wipes the tears off of his face. No matter how tough life got for me, no matter how little we had, we always had each other. I've never been happier in my entire life. I love you all so much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't fight for you sooner. I'm sorry I wasn't there when you needed me most. I'm sorry I let you down. I, I just hope that when I see you, you can forgive me. Please. Logan reaches out to touch the marker, and as the last of his tears stream down his face, he falls back. He looks up into the sky, and he takes a deep breath, and he fades away. Later that night, Danny buried Logan with his family, and as she finishes, she says that it's hard to believe. She really thought that he would live forever. When she was a kid, Wolverine was indestructible, and now wherever he's gone, she hopes that he has finally found peace. Bruce hugs Danny. Don't be sad. We still have each other. And Danny tells him, thanks. I needed that, Bruce Jr. Logan wouldn't want us standing here feeling sorry for him. He'd want us to continue our lives. He'd want us to keep fighting and stop running. And now, it's time for us to find somewhere to call home. And with that, old man Logan passed on. Honestly, I thought it was kind of a cool ending to bring back Saratooth one last time. The fight was a little lackluster, the excuse for him being around uh, was a little Mr. Sinister, but I enjoyed the ending to this, and I hope you guys did as well. Thank you so much for being a part of our Patreon and voting for this storyline. It was a really good one for me to bring to you, and I had a lot of fun with it. If you want to be a part of the next vote for the next series, please consider going to patreon.com slash comicstorian, where we're putting out votes and discussions about the next story and what we're going to be doing. At the end of the day, guys, I know a lot of people leave at the end of some of these storylines and they don't come back. And that's okay. Because we had fun, didn't we? We got to enjoy a story together about one of our favorite superheroes at the end of his days. And that was fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed it with me. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Otherwise, enjoy your stay here on YouTube. And farewell.